Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. And now let us turn unto the altar of God and confess our sins. And now let us recite the act of confession. Almighty Father, you know my deepest secrets. I confess that I have, through my own fault, sinned against your holy laws, in my thoughts, in my words, and in what I have done or failed to do. I sincerely regret my sins, and I am truly sorry for offending you. I ask, Father, that in your mercy you pardon my sins. I promise to change my way of living so that through a deeper holiness I may better serve you throughout the rest of my life. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority, vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I waited, waited for the Lord, who bent down and heard my cries, drew me out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud of the swamp, set my feet upon rock, steadied my steps, alleluia, and put a new song in my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many shall look on in awe, and they shall trust in the Lord. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. 
The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you redeemed us through the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that we may benefit from the graces merited by our Savior. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The reading for the second Sunday of Easter is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions were his own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy people among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, and the proceeds of the sale were put at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response for today is give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord. He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. The second reading for today is taken from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Alleluja, Alleluja, Alleluja. Alleluja, Alleluja, Alleluja. I praise you, Lord, for you raised me up and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from Sheol. You kept me from going down to the pit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to them, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail prints, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen but yet believe. Now Jesus did many signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and through this faith you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. Words from today's Gospel according to St. John. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Following the arrest and crucifixion of Jesus, we read that the apostles hid themselves out of fear. 
They had locked the doors and barred the windows. I am sure that they heard every sound, awaiting for that one knock that would bring about their own arrest and crucifixion as their Lord. But that evening following the resurrection, our Lord appeared to them. For whatever reason, Thomas was not present. Peace be with you, was how Jesus greeted them. Peace. His greeting was intended to calm their fears. It was intended to give them confidence and courage in the place of terror and dread that they must have felt. His calming words were to transform them from extreme horror to great rejoicing. Again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. It was his assurance to them that he indeed was with them. He would greet them again with Thomas present a week later with the same message. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. In Luke chapter 19 verse 41 we read the following. And he, Jesus, approached Jerusalem and saw the city and wept over it and said, If you had only known on this day what would bring you peace, but it is now hidden from your eyes. Jesus, called the Prince of Peace, wept over Jerusalem, the city of peace, for he foresaw the destruction of Jerusalem by the Romans beginning in 67 AD and culminating in 70 AD. I am sure that our blessed Lord weeps over many cities, for we find ourselves in a battle with the coronavirus, which has led to so many deaths so far in the United States of over 34,000 people. I am sure that so many of us have wept in so many cities, and there have been many who have turned themselves back unto God, seeking strength during this global crisis in prayer. Today the Lord comes to us as believers with not only a message of peace, but also a commission. Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. We are called upon, my brothers and sisters, to go forth as his disciples, to bring forth his peace and love into the various circles of our own influences, whether it be in the hospital rooms, the nursing homes, ambulances, and among even our own family members, our friends and neighbors. You see, Jesus needs us to carry his message of peace and love to all we meet, and we in turn seek his peace and his presence for us to be complete, and for us to carry on. We learn from catechetical instruction that there exists in Christianity a spiritual marriage between Christ as the bridegroom and his church as the bride. We also learn that we as members of his church are his body. We find this concept in St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 25 through 27. The truth is, is that Christ needs us and dependent upon us, for we are his hands, his feet, his voice, and his heart. We also see Christ, for we are dependent upon him as the living bread, that gives us spiritual sustenance and guidance. 
Jesus has given us a message to go forth and share this message of hope, reconciliation, forgiveness, mercy, compassion, love, and peace. To carry out his message, he gave his church the wisdom and the power of the Holy Spirit. Did not Jesus breathe on his disciples that evening and say unto them, Receive the Holy Spirit? Did not Jesus also give unto us this teaching? Come to me, all you who labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. My brothers and sisters, Christ offers to us today a peace in the times of our trials, in times of personal trouble, chaos, and confusion. Peace is a most powerful word that recalls how the Lord comes to us. Amid all the problems in our world, His peace is not found outside of ourselves or in our society, but rather within ourselves. It is in the quietness of our own upper room where we shut off the confusion and chaos, chaos of the world that we begin to perceive of the peace that Jesus brings. When we truly come to believe, like Thomas came to believe, that the Lord is alive in our lives, then we find that solace and that peace, and in that peace, we find strength. This statement of faith is confirmed in the words of the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 1, verse 8 and 9. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And although you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with exalted joy. As the outcome of your faith, you obtain the salvation of your very souls. May this holy season of Easter bring his peace to all of you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. O God, I will present my thanksgiving 
an offering to you, for you have delivered me from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made, may become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you this day with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord our God, accept the offerings of your rejoicing church, which you have enlivened and enlightened this day, and grant us the gift of perpetual gladness, for you have come as a great joy to all of us. We ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God. Forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right and just so to do. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Of especially at this time when he became our Paschal sacrifice, he is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the whole world. Through his death, he conquered death for us. And by his wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, we join with the voices of the angels and archangels with all the saints and the entire church, 
and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your Son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread. He gave you thanks and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood, which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Calling then his death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church, to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you your, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? 
because there is one bread. We who are many are one body, but we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Christ Jesus bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And now let us pray together. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation, though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament. Through your loving kindness may become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. I will take the bread of heaven. And I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. And may the gifts I have received this day Bring me healing and strength, now and forever. Amen. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, 
To you belong the keys of life and death by the will of the Father. Preserve us through these holy mysteries that our redemption may be assured and our doubts revived. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, my dear brothers and sisters, and may the peace of the Lord be always with you. Thanks be to God. Let us go forth this day and proclaim that indeed our Lord has risen from the dead. Thanks be to God.